Good morning, everyone. It's Brian Ramen Adventures here again with another ramen and craft beer for the Professional Ramen Critic Tour. Yes, I got the name of my own tour right today. We're here at Shinjuku Station, southern exit, right here at the Penguin Statue. This is where we meet. And uh, I'm freaking cold today. Man, it is actually not that bad, but I'm feeling the cold, I'm feeling the chill. So today's tour, meeting up with another friend of mine, and it's a new shop, it opened last year. It's got a very high ranking. It's not super far, it's over in uh, the Koenji, Nakano area, which if you know about Tokyo, I'm just a few stops from Shinjuku here. We're gonna go crush this bowl. Let's go get the ramen, I'm not bearing the lead. Ramen first, beer later, and then we'll meet our friend. Let's go. Today, I wanted to go to a ramen shop serving some pretty good looking tauntaun men out near Nakano. And we went there, but they were closed. <laughs> so the good thing about being on the Chuo line in West Tokyo is that there are a billion ramen shops to go to and uh, probably a million of those look pretty darn good. Now I checked by list and there was a shop that opened in October of 2022 with a very interesting name, There Is Ramen. Simple and to the point, There Is Ramen. There Is Ramen was opened by a chef who worked at a very famous shop called Kami Tonegi. Now this shop in Ueno has a huge line, a lot of tourists like this spot, but yeah, it's a decent bowl of duck ramen. Well, here at There Is Ramen, simplicity is the key. Real simple bowl, kind of nice, modern, refined style chugo soba. The master actually says that the ingredients are not the important thing. He just wants to make a nice bowl of ramen. So if you're coming here expecting the most kodawari things, the chicken bones sourced from a, a single lineage of Aomori chickens and soy sauce dripped from the gods of Shodoshima of Shoyu. I don't know what I'm talking about. It doesn't really matter. He just wants to serve a nice bowl, a nice part of town, and that's exactly what he does. Great bowl, real cool, real chill. Here it is. There is ramen. Okay, we're back at the house, and today's video is again sponsored by Zen Pop. Yes, thank you, Zen Pop, for sponsoring these videos. Hey, let's check out what we got this month in the Zen Pop monthly snack pack. But right off the bat, we got a giant big thing of matcha latte Kit Kats. Already, you know you want these. Hungari corn. Got a corn, a uh, little, little corn bits. Oh, I only have to get a drink every week. This time, a lemon. Squash, squash, lemon squash, lemon squash. Oh, we've got a whole bunch of like little snacks in here. I don't know. I don't need to go over all of these, but little fun snacks. Chicken ramen. This is like. This is like. The OG instant ramen out here, one of the OGs. Chicken ramen. Uh, they're picking this up every month. And thank you for sponsoring this video, Zempop, guys. If you're interested in Zempop and getting your own subscription box, you can get it for like one month, three months, six months, a year. Buy them for your friends, it's a good gift. People love them. What a name. There is ramen. All right, crushed it. Very nice bowl. Super, like, new wave, chukasoba style, ramen style. Delicious, definitely enjoy. Interesting spot. Yeah, this used to be a real famous, really, really famous ramen shop. 
at this exact place, but I guess they closed. Damn, I gotta do my research. Uchoku closed. Huh, you know. Well, whatever, anyways. Let's go get a beer now, and let's meet today's guest, Mr. Andy. Alright, let's go. It's beer time. Ramen and craft beer with a professional ramen critic tour. So for me, I'm an ex-US Navy veteran and uh, came out here to study abroad in Japan. Graduated just last year and now I'm making videos about my life out here in Japan. And I have a whole back catalog on teaching people how they can study abroad, especially if they're fellow veterans like myself. And uh, how to use the GI Bill to uh, start your new life out here in Japan. Because there's a lot of people that have it and they don't know what to do with it. <laughs> I like it, yeah. And Andy's an editor. He's, yes. uh, he used to be, he used to be my editor yeah. my YouTube channel. Got any videos out of there, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know what? Let's throw together. Uh, why don't you throw together a little sizzle reel from from uh, the ramen shop today? Okay. We'll throw it there. Everybody, thanks for joining today. We are out of here. Instead of heading back to Shinjuku for a beer, I helped Andy out, and we went to a shop that was on his train line. Now, this is in Shimokitazawa. The place is called Coasters. Super cool craft beer spot. Japanese craft beers, imported craft beers. They always have art on the walls. Very chill spot, recommended, open early on weekdays. Anyways, everybody, thank you so much for joining me for another video. Hey, let's keep them going. If you're a creator out here in Japan, hit me up. Maybe we can do a collaboration video like this. I'm having a lot of fun doing them. Anyways, like and subscribe. I am out of here. <laughs>